Hello guys, I know you are most worried how you are going to analyze your data regarding diverse indices. And mind you, SPSS software is not going to help you to handle data regarding diverse indices, but you are going to use a software we are calling PAST. So, what does PAST do? So, after opening your PAST, this is how it's going to look. So, it's having the row attributes and serving the column attributes. So what we do, let me say you are having sites, sites are going to be in columns, you click column attributes, so it's going to display something like this. So you can just simply type here in A, let me say this is site, let me say this is site A, and this is going to be our site number 2, let me say site B, so like that. So after doing this thing, remember now, let me say I have two sites only, site A and B. And so these are, I can put the type of data here. I can include that it is Ordino. I can include that it's Ordino. Even this is, this is also Ordino because I'm going to involve diverse indices of, let me say, weeds. Let's use weeds. I can remove it. Then I can select row attributes. So remember, these are rows and these are columns. This one's running downwards. So here they are just bringing a dot and telling me to type the name of of the row. So I'm going to type one weed I'm having. So here I'm having pigweed. That's one. Two, I have make, make weed. Three, I'm having blackjack. Black jack. So I can have very many. So let me use only D3 for our learning. So I'm having only three weeds and they are going to be varying within these two sites. So what I'm going to do, so let me say I was throwing my quadrants. So if I threw the quadrant in site A for big weed and I got, let me say, I got 10 weeds. In site B, I got 7. Then for milk weed, in my quadrant, I obtained only three milk weeds. Then in site B, I obtained 15 weeds. Then when I come to blackjack, for blackjack, I got 20 in my quadrant, or in the intransect, whatever. Then here, let me say I have only two, two of them. So let me say, so now I'm saying that in site A, I'm having all these three weeds and they are there also in site B. But depending on the type of research, on the type of study, you can have whereby here you are having zero and here you are having a certain number which is there. So what do I do to get the diversity indices? So what I do, it is to select. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select, you select, you highlight each and everything there where there are values then you you go go up here where there is diversity you click diversity so it's going to bring another dialog box which is having diversity indices so you click diversity indices and it's going to compute it there and then so i think here you can see we are having simpson one minus d in site a and we're also having the shannon weiner index it is also here. So you select which one you can use, which one will favor your study or your objectives. So guys, you can also copy this. It's, you click here and you can paste it in Excel and you make more judgment or you can remove the irrelevant like removing the tax as individual or dominancy. So you can do each and everything. So guys, I think you've enjoyed the video. You are, you can now get the diverse indices without manually computing them so feel free to subscribe to best science in reality thank you